Hey guys, this is our rough edit uh, this Friday. Welcome. So guys, today is our last day um, of our internship here at Juice TV in Irvine, California. Yep, we are sitting right in the studio right now uh, on the couches, just chillaxing and reminiscing of our internship. Yep, so we uh, had to get 180 hours in and we crammed it in and uh, in a month and you know we're working almost full days almost every usually every day of the week um, Monday through Friday uh, and we did a lot of stuff uh, from well, well we'll get into what all we've done but done a lot of stuff and it's been a uh, it's been really fun I've had a really good time so we're just gonna talk about some things that we've done and uh, things that we've learned and just experiences that we've had so just to get it started what's uh, one of your favorite things you've done here so far hmm one of my favorite things was probably, I don't know, because I, I didn't think of myself as a video editor, but I really enjoyed editing a lot of videos here, um, especially for the Juice Live show. I, I edited a lot of the promos and the opens that were like in the show, and so that was a part that I really liked. And of course, when we when he hosted um, just the very end of that Juice Live, when we said goodnight to everybody, that was that was probably my favorite part. How about you? Uh, yeah, the same thing that co-hosting at the end there was a lot of fun for the after party. Uh, just having stuff go out on TV that you've made, you know, is really a cool thing to do. And uh, we got to go shoot something in the Dolby Theater, yeah. and that was really cool. You know, the Oscars are held there, and that's something that like one day strive towards would be amazing. And just to be there was really cool. So there's been some really amazing experiences. And the fact that we've been able to do so much, because I've been on camera, behind camera, editing, script writing, floor directing. You did lights the other day. Never done lights before. No. <laughs> so we basically did, you know, almost everything you can do here. And uh, I'm glad that we were able to do it. I think it's because of our internship, what it is at Juice TV with TBN. They kind of let us do that. And I really enjoyed it and really enjoyed making the friends that we made here because we made some really close friends uh, with a lot of the employees here and some of our bosses it's just been a great time and I'm so glad that we now know them and have them in our lives so the next part I think so we kind of talked about our favorite I think another thing would be talk about what we learned um, so what would be like one of the just name a couple things that you learned that you did not know or that you got better at since you've been here um, well, a lot of things is just, uh, just learning there's different ways you have to edit for TV than just doing a video that goes on a YouTube and, you know, we have to have four audio tracks and different kind of pixels themselves, all kinds of things that we have to have preset and videos. That was a big thing to learn. I think just learning how to handle everything together because there's so many things that go into a show mm -hmm. and especially the live show, just trying to juggle everything all at once. Uh, is a pretty big thing and I feel like I've gained a lot of experience in that region so I now know what really goes into making a show of that caliber. What about you? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say about the same. You know, I, I think I've learned a lot more in editing already, just playing around with stuff um, myself. You know, you can, um, if, if you want to like edit videos, you just got to try stuff and see how it looks how it works out and that would be my advice because you know I don't I don't think of myself as a big like video editor but the more I do it the more like I kind of fall in love with it and the more you realize that what you can do because there's so much that you can do and I think that was another big thing and then the whole live show aspect I didn't you don't really think about how much goes into a live show and how much stuff there is behind the scenes so that was something that really kind of shocked me and you know even we we did a lot of like the Facebook um, live like pre-show even like work with like the talent to do that that's like another big thing and like it takes a lot and so that was something that I wasn't really like you don't you don't think about when you're watching a live show at night or anything so that, that was a pretty big deal for me and um, the last thing I think I want to talk about was just like any advice you have for people watching this video that want to get an internship 
or to do during their internship, maybe their first internship, second internship, doesn't matter. Just what advice would you give somebody going into an internship? Starting off, I'd say if like getting one, just go for everything, you know? If there's something that seems interested, go for it because sometimes you'll get picked, sometimes you won't. It's just how it is. And it's good to just try to do as much as you can to find out where you can fit try to find people who have connections because that's kind of the best way to get it if you meet someone who knows someone it's easy to talk to someone uh, start get rolling into something and I think that's a big thing just try to get as many places as you can until you finally get somewhere and when you do get somewhere I think it's just you gotta have an open mind uh, but be confident if you know what you're doing uh, don't sit behind and act like you don't and if you don't know what you're doing ask questions because you know they're they when you're an intern people don't expect you to know how to do things and if you do know how to do it you usually surprise them and that's something that's really exciting and it's good and I think here we came into it knowing how to edit and so when we told them that we got thrown on a lot of projects and it was kind of big at first but we took it and we if there's something we didn't know we'd either ask questions look it up and we were able to you know work on those things and get better at them I think that's just a big thing, just be willing to learn, be confident, and uh, just really just try to have a good time with it. If you're, you know, working as hard as you can, people are going to notice that. The harder you work, the more you're going to get to do. Yeah, um, to add to that, I think one th we got a lot of advice going into our internship, and one of the things that kind of stuck with me was just to be nice. Um, because nobody wants to work with somebody who's just mean all the time and isn't grateful for the projects they even get to do. And so I think if you're just grateful for what you get and you're patient about um, about what you want to do, then then the good things will come. You know, we we wanted to, I guess we wanted to host like that'd be a really cool thing. You know, I was like, but I wasn't like forcing it. I wasn't saying, hey, let us host this thing. But they're like, hey, you guys want to do this? When we were patient for it, and they're like yeah that'd be awesome if we could do that and so I think being nice and being patient for what you want to do and I think just being useful um, is another big thing you know a lot of internships you'll hear like man I just had to go get coffee or man I had to go get them water and clean up the bathroom or something like that and I th th those things like those will happen at some internships but if you do that and you do it well, then they'll give you more opportunities. I mean, if they don't, that's kind of a, a jerk thing to do, but you got to be grateful for what they give you. And so if that's what they want you to do, then you go do it. And then you'll gain more respect that way. And that way you'll be trusted more. And they realize that, wow, if you do it with a good attitude, then, hey, maybe they'll do something else. Or I'm like, well, they'll reward you with something better than that. Yeah, I think especially when you say, like, be useful, because sometimes the most important thing I could do at that moment is taping flyers on the back of chairs because that needed to be done before the guests came in for the live show or the most important thing I needed to do was clean out the green room because people are about to come in and that was you know pressing and big and so it's kind of just doing what you need to do people are going to notice that if they need help and you help them they notice that and I think just it's been such a plus you know just because for us here having the opportunity to do more things but I think it does come along with us having a good attitude towards it mm -hmm. um, not to like say that you know we're great people or anything but I feel like whenever we uh, are being nice in an area and working hard that we can get rewarded for it a lot because um, you know we've just we've been nice and we made really good friends and I think that's really helped just being friendly in general has helped along the way a lot yeah and so I think the last thing I would say is to ask questions and not only the questions like if you don't know how to do stuff I mean, because if you don't know how to do stuff, you need to ask questions. Because if, if you say you can do it and you can't do it, then they're going to think you can. Then they're going to keep giving you more stuff like that. And so ask questions and then always ask what you can do. Because it's it's really hard, especially for like a live show setting. Like people are thinking about so much what's going on, what's going next, what do I need to get done. If you have someone to be like, hey, what can I do for you? What can I do right now? 
then that takes away some of their stress and that's something that if you don't have anything to do why not ask what you can do because it helps take away stress from them and you're being useful and so I think that was a big thing um, that really helped us along the way was asking what can be done what can I do right now that, that's pretty much it this is our last day of our internship yeah last time here and I think uh, it's really like a bittersweet thing you know because I've, I've enjoyed this time so much with uh, the friends we made and the times we've had here um, and it's in, it's in Southern California it's nice the beach is nice it's fun uh, to go there, but it's gonna be nice going home uh, being close to our girlfriends. It's gonna be a cool thing um, But you know seeing all the other rough edit guys starting to miss them Well, that's pretty much it uh, let us know if you have any more questions about internships. Hopefully our advice helped and Have a good weekend. See you next time